And we have a harp in the studio this morning talking later about a project to switch children onto classical music. Former royal harpist Catherine Finch will be playing live for us this morning. That's a little bit later. First for you, though, are Stephen, thank you. Uh, more than 100,000 primary school children across the UK are visiting cinemas this week as part of a BBC initiative to get kids into classical music. The project is called Ten Pieces and features work from across the classical spectrum and some famous faces with the aim of getting youngsters creating their own music and art. Breakfast Tim Muffet has more. Why does classical music not appeal to many children. I feel a bit boring. I think it pisses them off because it's been around sort of a long time. It's not like pop music like now, it's like more violins and stuff. At cinemas across the UK, it's hoped attitudes will change. Mars, bringer of war. This week, more than 100,000 primary school pupils will watch a film called Ten Pieces. It features ten classical works, explained and reinterpreted for a younger audience. What we're trying to do is to open up the world of classical music to a generation of children. I think with concert halls, people feel a little bit intimidated. They thought there were rules and not quite sure what to follow, when to clap. Um, whereas um, the reason we tried to do it here in the cinema is that cinema is a, a place where everyone's familiar with. If all the water in the ocean could make music, would it sound like this? Where do you see classical music? It's, it, it, it can't compete with the level of exposure that pop music has. There's no point lying about what classical music is. Much of it is long, much of it is complicated. It's not something that is just instantaneous, and I don't think this program is trying to say that it is. It's saying it's incredible. But it also sounds to me like it could be two men arguing about who's the best dancer. The first one goes, hey, look at me. And the second one goes, what is it now? I think it showed us that classic, um, classical music can be fun. My favorite part was um, just like all of it. The film's finished. The idea now is that everyone who's seen it will go back to their classrooms a little more inspired by classical music. Ready, and... Over the coming school year, pupils will work on their creative responses to the film before special performances next summer. Professional musicians will also be helping out. This is St Clement Danes Primary School in London. It gives the opportunity for for the child to learn a bit about that particular piece and to learn about what inspired the composer, you know, what, whether it was a piece of literature, whether it was a work, whether it was a place. And then they, they begin to realise that music is about everything around you. Ten pieces of music, some hundreds of years old, will it's hoped inspire a new generation and convince them classical music can be as relevant today as it was when it was written. Give yourselves a round of applause. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Well, with us is Catherine Finch, who was ambassador for the project. We also saw you there. Also, former royal harpist. Yes. What does that mean, first of all, morning? <laughs> morning. Well, it just meant I was lucky enough to go and play at a few nice events. The palace what every a great now and then, job. you know. And we saw in that piece the, those youngsters. Uh, were they already children who played instruments? Because uh, no. the idea was to get more children involved. Yeah, I mean, no, the majority of those children um, just grabbed uh, an instrument that was in the cupboard, in the instrument cupboard, and, and uh, did what they could with it. And, and that's, you know, the, that's the idea behind this project is to inspire children with music. It's, it's not all about, they don't all have to pick up an instrument and start playing straight away. You know, we realise it's expensive, isn't it? It's hard, it's, um, it, sometimes it's not possible to do that, but it's, it's raising awareness of music and it's giving children an opportunity to, to learn to appreciate it, you know? And in some ways, I suppose, we sort of take um, classical music for granted because it is around us, it's in film, it's in television all of the time, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's in everyday life. And if you imagine a, our world without it, it would be a, um, a very bare thing. And, um, yeah, I, th I think quite often people don't realise that they're listening to classical music and, and enjoying it. Um, um, and it's you know yeah, as I say it's it's raising awareness and these this project the ten pieces the BBC has chosen ten wonderful pieces there's a real range so you've got 
Beethoven's very famous Fifth Symphony to a piece by Anna Meredith, a contemporary young composer, who's written a piece entirely made up of sounds using the human body. Which sounds, that sounds extraordinary. It's, it's amazing. It's really incredible. And then they put it together in this film, and there are some wonderful characters that, you know, young children, this is aimed towards, you know, primary school kids. Yeah. They can recognize the characters. They've, um, you know, they, they give wonderful introductions, like when they go into Mars, they're in spaceships and they're traveling into Mars for, for some of the, you know, for whole planet suite. And, um, yeah, and, and it creates excitement. And even myself as a, you know, a grown working musician, I, I still got inspired and <laughs> was excited by the video. So it's going to be impossible for a, for a young child not to 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 get inspired by it really and you brought your harp in today i think can we have a shot it's over the other side of the studio you're going to play a little later for us yeah now the harp is one of those instruments i mean you were talking about the sound of classical music the harp is one of those instruments that people are fascinated by i mean partly because it's just so big and you know it, yeah it kind of looks pretty, it draws people it? to it doesn't it <laughs> yeah i mean it's right it's a it's an unusual instrument although you know I, i'm a welsh girl and in wales it's not actually that unusual there's quite a few young kids learning to play the harp now um, and it's just the, the particular instrument I chose. You know, I grew up in a... My parents weren't musicians, but in a very musical house. And, you know, all music was encouraged in my house. We listened one day to popular music, the next to jazz, the next to classical. And so the, I got a real broad spectrum of music And as tell a child. me, the harp is something I think traditionally uh, we associate with something rather smooth and lovely. Can, can harp do angry? Can you do kind of angry uh, harp? Yeah. Yeah, we can do angry. But I, I'm not going to do angry today. No, not today. What no. are you going to do? You're going to play for us later <laughs> on. What are you going to play for us? Well, I'm just going to play you a, a lovely Welsh song, um, a, an arrangement of Bigelior Gwynith Gwyn, which means watching the white wheat. It's a nice traditional Welsh song. Um, and uh, then, yeah, with this ten, well, I guess with the ten pieces, we encourage that there's a website, um, yeah. bbc.co.uk forward slash ten pieces, and Every school in the country can get a free copy of the film. Is it easy it. to get hold of a harp? Because presumably they cost quite a lot of money, don't they, or not? Um, well, yeah, they do. But you can rent them. You can start with small ones. You know, How small? It's about this big. Is that the smallest harp? <laughs> yeah, well, like little Celtic that big? ones. Yeah, you know, oh. you get little table ones and right. any size. You, you can have it and you start. And like with every instrument, you know, you get the, the mini one. Give it a go and see how you get on. Um, All those years of playing the harp giving you a very strong handshake, yes. I noticed when we first met. <laughs> <laughs> very strong handshake. Comes with the job. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you have said that Charlie can play, but I think when we're off air, maybe it might be best. Okay, <laughs> we'll have a little go later on. Is that all right? I'll show you how to do it. Angrily. Can't break it, but it's not easy to break, is it? Because no, I have a habit of. You're all right. Uh, <laughs> you're all right. Oh. Lovely to meet you. Thank, Thank you very much. Casual will be playing uh, for us live, as you said, at the end of the programme. To find out more about 10 pieces, go to bbc.co.uk forward slash 10 pieces. As we're going to play you out now with some rather beautiful music on the harp. 